Whoa! Guys, I just realized this while setting up the camera and taking like a test clip to see the, that the composition is okay. And I swear, this just happened by accident. Today, we're gonna react to World of Warcraft, Mist of Pandaria, right? And as you can see, it somehow has badass pandas, which are like the Swedish little bear things. But the thing is, I was checking the frame and I was like, wait, pandas, black and white. And I'm wearing black and white. And I was like, what? Welcome to another Filmmaker Reacts episode, guys. I hope you are excited. We're almost done with World of Warcraft cinematics, so Blizzard better come up with some new trailers. But anyways, guys, like I said, pandas are like World of Warcraftified or something? That would be sick. So, another thing I want to share with you guys is this sick little box that came into the mail a few days back. And are you guys ready for this? Trust me, it's gonna be cool. Ready? One, two, three. How sick is this? Now, I have to say, guys, this right here is some ballsy marketing. Respect. Today's episode is brought to you guys by Manscaped, and specifically the awesome performance package. This is the all-in-one you need for the best male grooming there is. And trust me, guys, coming from myself, male grooming is one of those things that you sh should be on top of your radar if it isn't already. Now, first of all, the new Lawn Mower 3.0, which is waterproof and has safe skin technology, is the best tool you can get when it comes to, you know, our delicate parts. And the thing is, the moment you unbox this, guys, the quality is just insane. Like, the feel of the plastic is really high quality and has that velvet feel. Everything is just insane. So this one is a must have. They have some sick formulations. This one is the ball toner as well as ball deodorant. If you're in fitness like I am, these are a must have, guys. The other thing that you have that comes with the performance package is this. This is the wig whacker and it works wonders when it comes to your nose, ears, sick AF. And if you use my link in the description, you're gonna get a sick 20% off as well as free shipping and two free gifts. Another cool thing as an extra is this one. This is called the shears and again, amazing leather quality. Everything you're gonna need when it comes to male grooming. Check out the link in the description. Just see the reviews say everything by themselves. And again, these guys have made the ultimate package when it comes to male grooming. So I love it, guys. I've been using it for the past few days and it's just been amazing. Highly suggested to you, my bros. This is sick. And if you're a girl watching this and you have a guy, this would be an amazing gift for him. So with that said, let's fire up YouTube and check out Mist of Pandaria. Man, I have a feeling this is gonna be both epic and funny at the same time, because pandas, man, they're so cute. To ask why we fight is to ask why the leaves fall. It is in their nature. Whoa! Perhaps there is a better question. Which is... So they got stranded basically. Nice transition. Okay, so we have orcs and humans. This looks sick, man. Like the fog. Oh. So the island is full of pandas? This guy's Jack, man. Sweet. This reminds me of some. Is that the orc? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, now they know. 
Whoa! This is like Kung Fu Pada, but like badass Mortal Kombat version or something. Oh, that's sick, man. Dude, it's exactly the same! Nice. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Nani? Oh, that's hilarious, man. I love it. Let's go. Come on. There's some strong bamboo, man. Wow. Oh, look at that. Why do we fight? To protect home. It's the same. To preserve balance and bring harmony. Love the music as well. Oh. The true question is what is worth fighting for? That was so sick, man. You know, it was exactly what I expected, actually. I expected, like, action, but also, like, a bit of, like, hum a humoristic take to it. And you can tell from, like, the little snippets they put in, from, like, the way the panda would, like, adjust the little things. I don't know what to say other than, like, it literally, it's as if someone from Blizzard watched uh, the, like, one of the first ones, like, Kung Fu Panda. Master Sifu would be proud. And then he was like, I won't... I want badass, ba like badass pandas fighting orcs and humans in the expansion. And then was like, heck yeah. I mean, it's sick, man. I don't know. Have you guys played the expansion? If you guys are World of Warcraft players, uh, let me know down in the description below. Uh, really cool, really sick. I really like the kind of like different tone to it from like the beginning. It's like super dark, like epic with the mist. And you can tell from the mist as well. And as they start fighting at the end, the mist goes away and it reveals the whole island and kind of like the beauty of it. So that was really cool. Okay, so let's jump right back to it guys and talk about some cool filmmaking techniques used as well as some visual effects and break them down. Let's go back to the beginning, full screen. Let's go, full screen, come on YouTube. Obey me. So, we start with the classic Blizzard massive logo right in front, and we're introduced. Ask why we fight. So, we have narration again, and he kind of like gives like the points of like why we fight, where is the purpose, you know, blah blah blah. Is to ask why the leaves fall. That's cool. I like this man. It is so, we'll go to back. Ask why the leaves, leaves fall. fall. So again, they're using the sound and visual technique. Basically, when you have a big sound, you can introduce the scene and then take it out again as the sound fades away and then bring in the next one. It's pretty cool. in their nature. In their nature, the leaves basically. So it's really funny because it's talking about like why fighting, but they also are showing a fight. You know what I mean? So which is cool. So this, I'm guessing one ship might be orcs, the other one might be humans. And there have some sick uh, Pirates of the Caribbean action going on, basically, in this really moody, man. Like, it's really dark, clouds everywhere, and just, like, the ignition of, like, the shots from each ship, like, illuminate the place, which is really cool. And basically, they're gonna fight, crash, and go to the island. So, Perhaps there is a better question. banner as well that is really cool actually how because we the viewers don't know really know what's going on so the moment kind of like both of the you know things fall off they reveal the kind of like silhouette of an island and you know when you have such like extreme clouds and you know it's very desaturated basically right like there's the cloud is basically black 
you have this fog everywhere and kind of like it, you know, fades away everything, including the island itself. It gives you the perception of something very dark, very moody and very like, you know, that I remember in Uncharted 4, the opening scene when uh, Drake and his brother Sam would go towards like the treasure island. It was like this, and once you woke up, it was sunny, but the introduction of the island was like this. It was like a stormy kind of like setup with lightning happening. It's just a great way to introduce mystery and kind of like darkness as if you don't know what's up. Because if it was like clear skies from the get-go, it would not give you that sensation of like, you know, uh, wonder slash mystery slash danger and like what is going on. So that's pretty cool. And how they transition with the fog to hide it back again, bringing the title through the fog and then transition to the next one. They're doing some awesome stuff. I really love this shot actually, how now we're from the perception of the island and we're zooming in the island in a way. So when you actually have, you can actually have the camera zoom into something and that invites you in, invites you in to pay more attention as if something is coming, something is approaching. But if you reverse this, it gives you the sensation of distance. So the distance from the ship into the new thing, or for example, if you have a character, that just had like a tragic loss and they are just like, you know, holding down and have that kind of scream. Having the same move gives you the sensation of distance and like isolation, basically, with school because they just crashed into an unknown island, basically, and they're kind of like isolated. And just the composition is gorgeous, mate. And then they bring in the hand, which is the orc's hand. It's a sad man. Survivor. I like this as well, like just going into the lens, that is pretty cool. Now we're introduced to the human character, you know, everyone's just getting ready to continue the fight. When you have the camera lower down, actually, it gives the sensation of power to a character. So here, having this extreme kind of angle looking up, it just gives you the sensation of strength and power. If you level it, it's as if we, the viewers, are on the same level as the characters as well. And if you put it up high, that gives you the sensation of weakness to the character. It's something to keep in mind. So it's almost as if he's going in and he's like, I got this, you know? Like, I got this. And I, again, loving it, man. It really gives me some Uncharted vibes from the Treasure Islands segment. So when you fade away to black and you use the soundtrack and continue, it just gives you the sensation that time goes by versus keeping it uh, same shot after shot. If you fade it out and you put like a title or something or you just fade it out and fade it in again a few seconds later, a few frames later, it gives you the sensation of like time passing by. And this is a cool technique to use to like progress the story and not show it real time. So that's cool as well. So because now I got the sensation as the viewers that, you know, he's been climbing for a while, you know, he's been traversing through the island for a while. The soundtrack plays a key role. The soundtrack is very like mystery based and it keeps you on your toes. And it's going to transition to a more Asian sound kind of like soundtrack design as well. That is sick, how it's like almost hidden, like it blends in so well, because like orc skin is more like dark green, so it would blend really well with like a foresty island basically, I guess. So that's really cool. And I love the compositions of pop pop. I always love when you can show a frame and then have something within the frame move and reveal it to the audience. I just cool, man. Jesus. And now we're starting like a cool fight going on. I really love kind of like the visceral power elements that they uh, pull off here because again, if you notice, they move the way they move the camera is like quite low and kind of like empowering. And this just looks so good, man. And the way they do the cut. This, you see how it's like, so cool. That 
That is so sick. Look at this. Oh man, that is so cool. So you have the orc, the human, and then the uh, bamboo kind of like weapon going in and stopping the two of them. And you have that... And the way they use the fog, man. I like... So sick. Again, same thing through the fog, like what the orc did to the human, uh, the panda did to the orc, that's kind of like a cool parallel. Look at this, that is just gorgeous. In order to do this, you would need a 3D team with uh, fume effects simulation. So basically what they would do is they would simulate the entire smoke and usually I, what how I would think they would do it is they will have tracking animation points on the actor doing the move if this was real life and then they would map a 3D model with the same animation so when you try to simulate the smoke they would the smoke would react to the animation of the 3D model which is taken from the animation points on the actor that way it's so sad. And the way they did the eyes, like it's so vibrant, man. Like it stands out so much in this kind of like very de desaturated kind of like fog setup. And then this is just like straight out of Kung Fu Pada, man. When he got like the, I got this. <laughs> I just love this, man. This is where the humor comes in. Cause now we know it's a panda and we're like, what? And this. That is just visual humor, man. Loving it. And this. Now, now the tone completely changed from the start. Like, sorry, it was epic, moody, dark. Now we're transitioning to humor, light, and kind of like fun. Like this. This is like, yeah, let's go together. Yeah. <laughs> I would really have liked to see this from like a bird's eye view from the top, like as he's flying and swings down because he did like this kind of like cool shockwave thing. Where is it? Let's go back. This. You see this shockwave? It's very simple actually. It's like a lens flare and then you, I would, you could animate like uh, if you put like a new layer, a new solid and you created kind of like masks and expand the circle mask outwards and further them out and then just put like a glow effect. It would make this kind of like cool quick and quick kind of like shockwave. But I would really have liked to see this from the top because shockwaves look so cool from like a bird's eye view when they like pulse out and they go like, Poof. that would be sick, man. That's, I would say the only thing that would be missing. Again, this is freaking amazing, but just thinking about it back, uh, like an overhead view of them going and swinging around would be cool, just to give us a bit of more perspective of like where they're fighting. And now like he dispersed the fog itself. Interesting how they're transitioning the camera over the panda character, but the panda helps that transition by looking over as well versus just standing like this and we go past them while he's doing this it's way easier for us just like as if he's looking at something we want to look there as well and the camera is moving that way ah and the flowers man why do we fight and now we get back to the initial initial narration which is basically for them is all about peacekeeping to protect home and family to preserve balance and bring harmony. Uh, all things must be. Wait, how did Tana say it? Uh, perfectly balanced as all things must be. Oh, how gorgeous, man. I really love those trees, man. The Japanese trees are just insane. I'm not exactly sure how they're called, but I love them. The true question is... What is worth fighting for? 
Using the sound to transition to the title. Even the logo is so colorful now, man. Sweet. Mists of Pandaria. That was awesome. Let's like this cinematic, like this video as well, guys. And that was epic. Let me guys know if you played the expansion, because I cannot really like imagine what would be going on. In this one, like, would you be fighting with pandas? Would you be fighting the pandas and then work together? I don't know, really cool. Let me guys know what you thought of this cinematic. I know it's a bit on the cheeky side. I mean, you can't really not be a bit cheeky when it comes to badass panda versions, but that was epic, really, really fun. I think there's like one more cinematic called, not Cataclysm, but I, don't know, I think there's one more World of Warcraft cinematic left. So let me guys know down in the description, uh, in the comment section, as always, what you would like to react to next. I read all the comments to get you guys suggestions. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Check out the sick Manscape performance box. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, stay awesome and creative.